fighting like a trout. Oh my god! <laughs> I told you, dude. I yes. told you. Yes! <laughs> the net rig trout continues. Oh, oh, I don't have my net. But at least we're like, you know, within sight of a parking lot. So, um, want to go run back to the car and get the net now that we know that they're biting? Uh, how about, better yet, you land them on the trail. Well, I brought the net so we could land these fish in a more humane manner. All right, well, after after I do land this fish, I'm going to go back and get the net. Yeah. I'm running back and getting the net. Because this is, this is uncanny. I literally felt it going nibble, 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 and I was like, no way. No way. And then... Well, I think I'm learning something about today. Yeah. And this giant-ass ugly scoop is not going It's funny because this is a different color, but it's still a Ned Rig. Which means that these, these Ned Rig trout... <sighs> It's definitely a, it's definitely a pattern. These stocked trout love the Ned Rig for some reason, and I don't get it. I really, honestly, don't understand it. Oh! Uh. How? This lucky bastard! I don't even have any booster tails. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Either I, I feel noir. like I either like lost them all, A or B, I misplaced them or left them at my dad's. I don't know why I don't have them. With me. Well, I didn't catch this one on a rooster tail, so I don't think that's the biggest problem. And I do know it's problem. changing up because the spook is not going to work at the moment. I have a major feeling about. And because the water is so choppy, I'm probably going to want to wait for the wind to die down a little bit and until I find a, a better spot. All there. right. Another day, another trout. Whoa, be careful with that. Trout can die as soon as they hit the water if you toss them in. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> You're welcome. That's what I'm telling you with about when we go with my dad is that they're very, very delicate. You'd think they'd be hardy because trout fight like hell as well as salmon, uh. but they're actually extremely delicate. So you want to keep your, them in the water as much as possible. That's why you're gonna want some fish in the world. Yes. Come down on that rock. The best not... way to land him is to just lift him up and then lie him down and then immediately grab him. Like don't, you know, like just lift him up and then let him down. Yeah. Don't try to like horse him. Whoa, this is not ground. Oh, slipping. Man, these are just gorgeous trout. Yeah, definitely. The one that I caught on the rooster tail uh, the other year was definitely a lot less colorful uh, but just goes to show that even this natural color works oh no no <laughs> especially all right like a not bad header. Imagine getting a double header with trout. I mean, it happens. So it's very clear that you can catch them on crankbaits, net rigs. Yes. Oh, oh my god! Hey, oh my god, are you growing? I am now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Speechless. I am speechless. I am speechless. Our lack of net is now a big problem. But this is crazy because it means that. The trout are definitely. Ooh, that's bloody. You're not want to get. Right. You're not gonna want to get blood on your uh, denim jacket. That will be pain in the ass to get out. Yep. Foot long, same size as the All other right, one. Get on and get through. <laughs> High five! That fucking happened. Yes. It happened. The trout. 
are literally up and down this shoreline. Absolutely. Oh my god. I didn't th I was so worried. I was like, I'm not prepared for this trip. Ah. Just goes to show you the trout will eat anything. They might be the only things in the shallows right now. Dude, the, I, you're right. The way they fight is just so different. Yeah. They're, they shake their heads. That's what the term is called at a torch or two or seven river. They shake their heads when you look into a trout or a salmon. Right, right, right. I, I suspect that they're the only fish that are up shallow at this point because it's just so cold. Oh my goodness. You're lucky you have a bit of an advantage. You can cast that farther. He's not even that far. He's literally just raised. No, I mean the one I caught wasn't far. Uh, the one I caught did not look like these rainbows at all. But it wasn't a. I it, can't believe it. wasn't it. a brown I either. I skunk with the trout. That's that's a great feeling. I didn't expect this to be our preparation for the Salmon River. Catching one, trout on random two, things. Like, I'm probably gonna have to switch to a crank. I'm not feeling this food. This is the only crank I switched to. Also means that now my winning streak could come to an end. This is now pretty competitive. My hands are freezing. Ned rig trout. Ned Ned rig and square bill trout. Yes, indeed. At Richmond Pond. It's funny because I don't really have any footage of Richmond Pond otherwise, but this would be pretty interesting footage. Yeah, this is gonna be great. I got something. That's probably another trout. Oh, he's fighting really nice. Oh, you're lucky. Wait a minute, what is that? What is that ain't a trout. What are you doing to these guys? I got him in the nose, he's alright. Alright, I sure hope he is. And he is nice and good to uh, these hunters. Oh, there, oh, there he goes, alright, that's good.